In stage seven, we're going to be fitting the limit switch. And with the limit switch, you've got a couple of spaces. You've got um, a couple of M3 truss head screws, M3 washers, and the M3 nuts. Now, if you look at the position, okay, of the back plate that I have here, and also in the picture, we are going to be fitting the limiter into these two holes here. So if I get screwdriver and point them out, it's these two holes here, okay, just below this part. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to get the limiter, couple of the M3 truss head screws, and then place those on there through the holes for a couple of spaces. Over the screws like so, and then just gently turn that around. Make sure that you've got an earthing strap or similar on. Okay, and then place that through the hole like so. Just hold in the side. All right, so once you've done that and you've got those on, we're then gonna gently turn it over as you can see here, and then I'm gonna place a couple of washers on the backs and then fit the M3 nuts on there like so and then once we've done that turn it back over a screwdriver and just gently nip those up do not over tighten them just nip them up Okay, because we're going to be making adjustments at some point later on. Okay, and that completes this stage.